Well, we're now working on the front to back loom and this is the loom which goes straight up the middle of the car, up the spine of the car. So what we're going to do is we're just going to work out how long this needs to be. Uh, well, no, we can't work it out because we just need to put it in split conduit and be done with it. So I've got all my wires that are laid out in the middle there and they take a route that runs along this top rail here down uh, past the gearbox runs down up again out the back uh, you can't see the back we'll come round the back in a minute uh, there is a small modification that we need to make to the wiring loom at the back of the car so we do the front bit we work forward putting everything in the split conduit up at the front end here and this will tidy up everything I'm gonna get a bit of a head start by rooting this split conduit through the direction that I need it to go because it will be an absolute pain in the bum otherwise. So let's begin. I want to make sure is when these two bits of loom go together like that that the hopefully you can see this let me just angle that up a bit so you've got these two plugs right one of them is a loop wire that goes down and back up again but rather than having the two plugs there's a load of spare connections on here so what we'll do is we'll, we'll wire those two plugs into there Let's quickly do that, and that gets rid of those two plugs. There is a bit of confusion in the manual about this, so that's why I wanted to tidy that up. We haven't labelled these plugs up, but what I'm going to do is put the grey wire in the in the very end, and then the red yellow wire. The, this grey red wire comes from the alternator, and it comes. I think it's a must be an, some sort of upgrade because it comes all the way down the car, loops round, and goes all the way back again, which is a bit dumb, but never mind. I'm sure Mazda had an idea when they did it. What I'm going to do first of all is unpin these two. Um, the way you unpin this particular pin out is it's got a little plastic, a uh, little bit of plastic, that like a little catch. So you just need to get in there, lift the catch up, and then they come out like that. Get in. Lift the catch up. I mean, it's not something I can explain how to do. Well, I can't show you how to do it. It's quite difficult to explain it. But So I'm going to put the grey red wire, far right hand one, <clears throat> and then the red yellow in the second one in. And then I'm just going to repeat that with this other plug. So disappear this plug. So take this plug right out. Again. Right, this one's slightly different. This has got a little lid on the top and you have to prise that lid up and then you can get in and pluck the the pins out like that. So as I said one of these is a loop out and in which is the grey red wire. The grey red loops out and loops back on itself. And the the other one, I think, is the reverse light feed. Right, that way we've done away with that additional plug. That was all I wanted to achieve here. Put a bit of loom tape around that. We've done away with that additional plug. So now I can pop this through and start routing it around the back of the car. As per the manual, we know where it goes. The boys have been ever so kind to me because they have put 
saddle bushes everywhere around here, which is wonderful. So I'm just going to saddle bush this one in here. So that's all secure now. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. This is all secure, right the way front to back. This is uh, so that's just a little bit of movement on the. But it's nothing's in any way gonna gonna touch the prop when it's spinning around, and that's what we want, obviously. Oh, I need to move this camera now. 